Celestino for Be Believe TV. Today, we're talking to the scientist behind Viracil, Dr. Richard Lobb. Doctor, how are you? Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well, especially because we're talking about this amazing product, Viracil. How does this benefit specific illnesses? How about for something like West Nile's virus and other viruses? How do the effects vary? Is it based on, like you said, the reproduction of the virus? Or is it based on how long you've had it? How does Viracil affect different viruses? Well, the difference between viruses, as far as I'm concerned, really boils down to how efficiently they reproduce. Bearing in mind that all animal viruses have to attach to a host cell, the efficiency of reproduction then amounts to well, how specific does a virus have to be in order to be very efficient or not so efficient. In the case of Ebola viruses, they really don't care what kind of host cell uh, the virus attaches to. And so as a result, the virus spreads very rapidly through the human body and uh, you die very quickly in, in a matter of five to 10 days. You hemorrhage to death, essentially. Your insides turn to mush because the virus has infected virtually all your organs. Uh, respiratory virus, flu viruses, for example, only impact upper respiratory tract tissues. And so in that sense, they're, they're very specific. Um, the AIDS virus, uh, HIV strains, really by and large only attack uh, white blood cells and particular kinds of white blood cells, CD4 positive white blood cells. And so in that case, the AIDS virus is not very efficient. And it takes years and years, really, even without treatment for the AIDS virus to actually kill you. You go from HIV positive, where you've been exposed to the um, human immunodeficiency virus, to uh, where your immune system just gives up. It, it just collapses under the weight of the viral load, and you go to full, what's called full-blown AIDS, and then you die of, of some subsequent infection like pneumonia, uh, even the influenza can kill you at that point because you have no immune system left. So in that sense, the AIDS virus is much less deadly than Ebola because it just doesn't reproduce as rapidly. And the reason it doesn't is because it's very particular as to the kinds of host cells it will attach to. Dr. Lobb, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, you're certainly welcome. And thanks for watching Be Believe TV. If you'd like to learn more about the benefits of virus cell, you can visit us at BeBelieveTV.com. I'm Asia Celestino. Until next time. Thank you.